My name is Amberly Labbitt and this is for Psychology 103 Human Development. I am interviewing an adolescent that's 14 years old. This is Matthew and I'm going to be asking him some personal questions having to do with his physiology, his cognition, and his emotion. So the first, first thing that I wanted to um, throw out there, Matthew, is this number and I want you to remember it throughout the rest of the interview and I will ask you that number again at the very end to see if you remember it, okay? So the number is 1111, okay? Mm -hmm. So just remember that number. So um, physically, having to do with puberty, how would you feel um, you are, or where you're at, you were circumcised, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, hormonally, you have a lot of testosterone built up in you. Can you feel that difference? Um, I believe so. Uh, I, sometimes I can't really control how I speak the tone of my voice. Can you speak up a little bit louder for us? Yeah. Um. So the tone in your voice, did you notice, when did you notice the change? Uh, I don't. I, don't, I, I can't really remember when I noticed a change in my voice or my actions. It just kind of happened uh, gradually. When did you start growing hair under your arms? Uh, I think I remember starting to grow hair under my arms when I was around 12. How old are you now? 14. Okay. And then, uh, this is a little personal of a question, but um, typically how often do you find yourself masturbating? Uh, I used to, uh, like, I think every night, but I don't do that anymore. I don't find any pleasure. When did you start? Uh, I think towards the end of sixth grade. Okay. And then health-wise, um, what kind of a diet do you usually find yourself eating? Uh, my diet consists of uh, mostly fast foods and chips, you know, nothing that's very good, but I did stop drinking soda very recently. Okay, so do you eat meat? Uh, yes, I do eat meat. Do you, uh, do you eat dairy products? Uh, yeah, I, I do have dairy products. Do you take any vitamin supplements? Uh, no, no vitamins at all. Okay. Um, what about exercise? How often do you find yourself exercising? Um, I don't exercise uh, too often other than my PE, so I will exercise every school day, uh, just in the mornings, and sometimes on the weekends I'll uh, exercise with my weights that I have in my room. Okay. Do you, have you ever or do you think that you will ever smoke in your life? Uh, I have not, and I don't think I will ever. Um, I'm not sure how I will end up in my future, um, but I know that I'm not going to be the kind of person that becomes a druggie. If I do get curious, then I will ask. What about drinking? Have you ever, or have you ever thought about drinking uh, alcohol? No, I haven't. Um, I think once accidentally when I was taking out the trash, I had some on my finger without thinking about it. I licked it off <laughs> and was not very good at all. Um, I, I don't like alcohol. Okay. And what about any medications? Do the doctors have you on any medications at all? Uh, no, not continuous medications. Uh, the only types of medications that I'll take are pain medications such as Tylenol or ibuprofen. Okay. And what about any other recreational drugs? Have you ever tried any? Uh, no, not at all. I don't find any interest. Okay. Um, emotionally, how, how often would you find yourself feeling sad? Um, it, it's kind of like a on, off and on again type of a thing. Sometimes it's continuous, but uh, it's never very serious. Uh, being depressed or sad, uh, it just happens sometimes where I feel hopeless in a way. Feel hopeless? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, considering hopelessness, how would you feel on a scale from one to five, one being low and five being the highest, your self-esteem level? 
I'd like to think that I have uh, generally high self-esteem, so I'm, I'm going to rate myself around uh, three and a half to four. Okay, okay, that's good. And then what would you feel, if anything, that you are self-conscious about? Um, my body, like my weight around my uh, chest and stomach area. And what would you feel that you could do to improve on that and make yourself not feel self-conscious? Well, I'd like to start eating better and hopefully going to a gym. Okay, okay. Now, this part is going to be about uh, how you how you conceive yourself, so this is self-conception, how you feel you are as your actual person. How do you feel you are? Well, at school I'm completely different from how I am at home. At home I'm uh, a lot more nice and quiet. Uh, I keep to myself a lot more and I don't really conversate as much as I probably should or would like to. But at school, I'm very active and talkative, and I'm pretty, uh, sometimes I can be mean, but mostly as a joke, uh, I'm, I'm a jokester at school. So that would be considered your false self, when you would present to others a different type of you than what you really are, because that's not necessarily an accurate depiction? Yes. Your false self? Okay, what about possible selves? like uh, different people who you could become in your future? Well, um, I like to think that in my future I'll become a very active and uh, well-rounded person. I mean, I believe I am now, uh, just not as active as I probably should or would like to be. And uh, um, in my future, I... I not about who you want to be, but possibly who you could be. Who I could be... I'm not entirely sure. Open uh, up your mind and kind of imagine yourself as who you could be. Give me three three people of who you could end up being. Like number one person of, of who you could be in your future. As far as like a, a, a personality wise. Um, I think I'll stay for the most part the same in my future. Uh, okay, so you could be nice. you could be the same. That could be one person. Another person that you could be in your future? Uh, it could be uh, very nice and helpful. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's that's the first person. Then the second person but could I be. I don't have any others that I think I would be. Okay. I'm not change. And then, what is your ideal self as far as who you would like to be? Uh, I just want to be a good role model and a good person uh, all around in my future. Okay. Who would you not want to be? Who would be your feared self? Who would you not want to be in your future? I don't want to be like a uh, recluse or anything like that in my future. I, I want to be active. I don't want to be out there with uh, friends and family. But you know, I want to be a worker. Okay. Yeah, but I, d I don't want to be um, anyone that's going to affect people in it. I don't want to be anyone that's going to affect anyone in a bad way. Okay. And those were my questions mainly for you during this interview, but um, I wanted to ask you again that number that I gave you at the beginning of the interview. 1,111. What was it? 1,111. Yes, that's right. And um, do you remember what my very first telephone number was? 951. Okay. Uh, 951, uh, let's see, 262-6579. Very close, very close. And what is, that was off by one number. And that's a total of 10 numbers that you remember. Usually at this point in your life, you're going to increase on the memory, but um, it will progress throughout the rest of your emerging adulthood and into early adulthood, I promise. Is there anything else that you would like to um, uh, mention in this interview? Any comments that you have? Um, no, I, I don't have any comments.
Well, thank you very much for uh, participating in this study, and uh, that concludes our interview. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and uh, make sure to like. Thank you so much.